Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday afternoon. Today, I am smoking a Nub Habano. I was having a conversation yesterday with Jeff Sasquatch Piper on his latest video and he had asked me if I smoke cigars. Well, I told him I don't because I don't like the lingering aftertaste. But after that conversation, I thought to myself, you know what? It has been a long time since I've had a cigar. And uh, to be specific, it's been since 2005 since I've had a good cigar. Now, I've smoked those little flavored cigars with my wife. Uh, she likes the tobacco brand with the vanilla and all those flavors, which, you know, I'll take a, a, a draw here and there from hers because that's what she smokes. Today, I went to my local tobacconist and I, of course, I was picking up a few tins of tobacco. I had some uh, in my hand and I looked over at the humidor and I remembered my conversation with Jeff and then I had a conversation as well with Mark Welsh Piper a few weeks back where he told me that I need to stop buying pipe tobacco and I need to invest in cigars. <laughs> so I never got around to it but uh, today when I got into that uh, humidor I immediately spotted the nub cigar section and saw this one and I thought you know what for old time's sake let's do this. So I did and I've been smoking it uh, maybe about uh, 10 minutes now. Uh, now you might see that my surroundings are familiar. I am at work. I am in the work parking lot. I'm picking up some tobacco jars that I left here uh, yesterday that I was supposed to bring home and totally forgot. So that's what I'm doing here today. But I got to say, this is just as I remember it. It's very earthy, very nutty. Uh, the retro hail is spicy. The aroma is very bread-like, it's very bakery-like, it's so, so good. It's just as I remember it, and I miss this flavor. It is absolutely wonderful. Now before I let you go, I'm going to go ahead and show you a few other cigars that I picked up, as well as my unique pipe, the most unique pipe that I have in my collection. I've been watching some of your videos, and uh, I guess for Pipe Week, maybe one of the topics was showing off your unique pipes. Well, I only have one, uh, because the majority of my pipes are either 7LA673s or they're Petersons or they're other brands, but they're not unique. Um, not as unique as the one I'm going to show you. So first, I'm going to show you the uh, other cigars that I picked up. So back uh, in 2005 and before, I was a big fan of Rocky Patels. So I picked up a Rocky Patel uh, 1990. and keeping in the same brand, I picked up a uh, Rocky Patel 1992. And I also picked up a My Father's Cigar. Now this one is a Flor de las Antillas. I've never had this one, but I'm looking forward to it. And then of course, because I had to, I picked up an extra Nub Habano. So those are the cigars that I picked up and I'm proud to report that I did not pick up any pipe tobacco. So now I'm going to show you my unique pipe. This is the only unique pipe that I have in my pipe cabinet. It's a little vest pipe made by Faro. It's a little Italian pipe. And it is very unique to me because I don't smoke vest pipes. But I saw it at Racine and Laramie. It was sitting on the shelf. I asked them how much it was. It wasn't much at all. And I told them, you know what, throw it in the bag. And thankfully, my father was there and he decided to buy it for me. So this is my birthday gift from when I turned 40. He bought this little pipe for me. So, Pops, if you're watching, thank you so much. But I have yet to smoke it because this pipe is very small. It's very, very small. And I think my mustache actually falls into the bowl. So there's no way I can light this thing without risking scorching my mustache off. <laughs> so yeah, that's my unique pipe right there. I was watching uh, David, Central Cal Piper, he showed his unique pipe and he has this very long Meerschaum pipe which I was just, I'd never seen one before, so I was uh, quite amazed at that, at the length of that pipe. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna set this little guy down, run upstairs real quick, grab my jars, and I'm gonna head back home because uh, it is time to relax and spend time with my wife. So, I pray that the Lord bless you, keep you, shine his face upon you and give you peace and I pray that you guys have an excellent excellent rest of your Saturday and a wonderful Sunday ahead God bless everybody